What up YouTube, Ed Wesker Griff coming back with my Thursday recap of the National. Um, filming this Friday morning. Well, I was completely wiped out last night and was not able to make it to the uh, baseball collector meetup YouTube hangout. Um, you can ask Dave and Mike, absolutely <laughs> was wiped out. Yes, so, you didn't make it, you did not make it. Did not make it, but we did get it over to the show on Thursday and uh, picked up a couple things. I did go around the room once, but really didn't inspect a lot of tables. Met up with so many different YouTubers. I mean, it was overwhelming all the people that were there. So it was really, really an awesome time. Incredible. Looking forward to going over today. Probably not going to go to the Cubs game. I know our original plan was to hit up a game at Wrigley for Friday. Probably not going to do that since I didn't really see that much yesterday. But uh, let's get into the cards. So my biggest pickup was probably this. Picked up this nice 2017 Topps Heritage Cody Bellinger, uh, Gem Min 10. And did not pay 50 Got this for $40. So $10 off. I'll take it. Happy to get this. I do think Bellinger is the odds-on favorite to win the MVP this year. So this is, as Phil Minted would say, this is probably a card that could rise in the future. Uh, then there was a... I only went through one value box yesterday of cards. And uh, Everett uh, Wenzel88888 was uh, picking out some Eagles cards for me. And then I went through the baseball box and found some nice cards. For all these cards here, I paid $25 total. So let's go through them. First, we got a Walker Bueller X-Fractor rookie. So that was a pretty good card to get. Then we got this nice Cody Bellinger rookie card from Topps Chrome. Then we got Sixto Sanchez from High Tech Autograph. He was the top prospect the Phillies traded away to get JT Realmuto to the Marlins. So definitely wanted to pick this up. He's doing really, really well in the minors uh, this year. So he probably might get called up in September or next year. So I wanted to get that. I picked this up for Eric, those back pages who I have not bumped into yet. I know he collects the golds, but got a fantastic deal on this card. Sold this at a few other tables for $15 to $20. I think in total for this card, it was like five bucks, but it's the gold uh, rookie debut of Shohei Otani from Update, numbered out of 2018. So, nice pickup there. Then I uh, picked this up for the Eagles PC. Avant, uh, Maddox Auto. I think he's like one of our... Um, might, he might have been on the practice squad last year, but received limited playing time. But still, a dollar auto for the Eagles PC. Why not? Picked up this Reese Hoskins. Finest rookie. Can't be getting a high-end rookie for a few bucks. Also, this Bowman Paper, numbered out of 150, blue border of Reese. Picked up this Nick Pavetta, uh, 35th anniversary, on-card auto. He's in the bullpen now for the Phils. And the last Eagles card from Optic Contenders, Triple Threat, Carson Wentz, Jay Ajay, and Zach Ertz, numbered out of 99. So all those cards there were 25 bucks. Thought it was a fantastic deal, so pulled the trigger. Then uh, there was a lot of a lot of people were telling me there was Game of Thrones cards throughout the convention. I did find several dealers that had some Game of Thrones cards, so it was a lot uh, more variety than in years past from going to the National. But this one card I saw caught my eye, and the dealer wanted to make a deal, so I was able to get it for a nice price. This is from Game of Thrones Inflections. This is one of the newer products that was released. This is Tara Fitzgerald. She plays Celise Baratheon, Stannis' wife. And this is the uh, Gold Auto. She's one of the first time signers in Inflections. The price on here was 45, which is pretty much eBay comps, but was able to get it for 35. Because I don't think most people going to the National are looking for a very, very minor character from Game of Thrones, but really pleased to add this to the collection, so didn't have her autograph. Awesome card. Uh, picked this up as well uh, for the Phil's PC. This is out of 5 star. This is numbered out of 25. This is a huge patch uh, relic of J.P. Crawford. 
So he was one of the players that was traded away as well. He's on Seattle now. Just made an incredible play a couple days ago uh, at shortstop. But very young player, doing quite well with Seattle, hitting well. I think he's hitting around like 280, doing well, getting on base, making great defensive plays. So wanted to get this into the collection. Uh, it was 20 bucks. was able to get it for 15 So nice, really cool patch there, too. Nice on-card auto. Real thick card. J.P. Crawford. And last but not least are the stuff that I got from some YouTubers. So Baseball Collector was there. So he hooked me up with my YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame patch, which is awesome. I was joking around with him, telling him that I'll be able to get now 20% off all the dealer tables. So this is really cool. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. Really nice. Uh, then I also, uh, when I first got there, I bumped into JT, and he hooked me up with this really nice Boog Pal, uh, numbered out of 399 for the O's PC, the out of Tier 1, beautiful on-card autograph, Boog's Barbecue. Beautiful card there. So thank you so much, JT. Triple Crown 23. And then Dave, who I'm rooming with, Dave's Midlife Card Crisis, uh, he did a little bit of Topps Chrome. He got shanked a little bit, but he gave me this really cool pink Trey Mancini. A lot of it. A lot of it. <laughs> and this cool Andrew McCutcheon, uh, first Phillies Chrome card. Very cool. And then Mike Go gave me this as well, uh, this Jake Arietta. The Skull Denter. He was able to get this via TTM. Uh, via Pat Neshek. So on the living set. Love to get this maybe PSA DNA uh, slabbed. Would look really cool. And I didn't go to the meetup, but Brentwood Sports and Collectibles wanted to give this to me. So hopefully I see him today. Can get to, can get to talk to him. Didn't open this yet, but thank you, Brentwood. Hope to see you today, Friday, at the National. And then the last package here, Jerome hooked me up with Yankees cards. He gave me some Phillies cards here, so we'll go through them. We got a gold Aaron Altair. Nice action shot there from 2017. Another Aaron Altair. We got Nick Pavetta. We got Eloy De Santos. De Los Santos. We got the Roman Quinn. We got a nice Dylan Cousins from Topps Gallery. I think the Phillies just designated him for assignment. Victor Arano. Aaron Altair. This really cool Donruss 2019 of Reese Hoskins. Scott Kingery from Gallery. Beautiful card. Reese Hoskins, Gallery. This uh, red and... Uh, blue and red Reese Hoskins insert from Prism and this really nice uh, Topps Holiday Scott Kingery rookie did not have that really awesome card so thank you so much Jerome and Dave just busted some Ginter and handed me this this nice gold Andrew McCutcheon definitely off center top to bottom yeah, oh my god look at that they really cut that short but, oh, and finally, the last thing that I got, I got this really cool, probably my best pickup from any national ever, this custom that I got for the T206, Rockin' the Shades, 1970s top style. So that was really cool. Uh, I noticed the Pepino Man one is already up on eBay for $999.99 with free shipping, so definitely have to go hard after that card but that's all i got for you guys thanks for watching dave what do you always say go match <laughs> have a great one guys peace